The pitch editor also lets you edit the pitch in very unique and creative ways, including merging and cutting the segments found here in the piano roll. So, for example, these notes that we edited in the last tutorial were actually detected as two separate notes. That's because their original pitch was so far apart, and one was so sharp from where it was supposed to be, that it put it into two different segments. But now that they've been pitch corrected, you might want to join those together as one entire segment. So I'm going to click the first note, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key on my computer keyboard and shift click the second note so that those are both selected. Or if you wanted to, you could just draw a box around both of those notes. Then in the lower left hand corner, you've got a scissors tool, which is the split tool, but we're going to use the merge tool. When you click on that, it's going to merge those two segments into one complete segment. Now, if you wanted to cut a long segment into several segments, you would use the split tool. And we're going to do that on this particular note here, which is three words, and they're all supposed to be the same pitch. But what if we wanted to change the vocal performance by editing each word onto its own pitch? Let's take a listen to it before we do any splitting. So we'll play it from here. Say you know how I... See, it says, say you know. But what if we wanted to change the pitch of those three words? Well, what I'm going to do is come to the split tool, and then I'm going to find the regions of that note that represent those three different words. So from here to here is say, so I'm going to split there, and then this is you, and then this is no, so I will make a split right there. And now I'm going to go back to my selection tool. So if I wanted this to descend in the scale so that it would be say you know, so here's say, I'll leave that where it is. Here's no. You. I'm going to drag that to an E, and then I'm going to take no, and I'm going to put that on a D. So now let's listen to the result. Say you know how I feel. Now some of the pitches are a little bit wonky in there, so I'm going to click and drag a box around those three notes. And then I'm going to correct the pitch of all of them a bit by adjusting the correction strength here. Now let's take a listen to the result. Say you know how I feel. And then you can transpose the entire selection by making a large selection of all of the notes and then dragging them all up or down on the piano roll. Cannot, you cannot say you know But since I'm not going to transpose this entire performance, I'm going to come back to the history and get back to right before I moved those notes, then hit close. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to correct for vibrato. And I've got a segment in here that has just a too, too, too much vibrato on a note is right here at the end of the segment. So let's take a listen to this segment from about right here. Oh, it isn't true. See how much vibrato there is on that note? And it's supposed to be all one note, but because I was out of pitch and because I was adding so much vibrato, it got detected as three separate notes. So I'm going to do some pitch correction to each of those notes. I'm going to click and drag this note down a little bit, and then I'm going to drag this segment up. Then I'm going to draw a box around all of them, and I'm going to use my merge feature to make those all one segment. Then I'm going to make sure that segment is highlighted, and I can come to the vibrato control, which starts at its default value of 100, which preserves all of the original vibrato. However, if you wanted to increase the vibrato, you would raise the vibrato up. That will add even more vibrato to the pitch. It isn't true. But what I want to do is reduce the vibrato. So since the vibrato's default position is 100, what I can do now is move it below 100 and it will start to smooth out that vibrato. So let's leave a little bit of it in there. And now let's take a listen. True. And that smooths out the vibrato and makes it less of an elevator music sort of vocal performance. And now let's listen to this pitch corrected vocal performance with the other effects that we programmed into Nectar 2. So I'm going to call it the Nectar 2 interface and unbypass that. And then I'm going to just select the segment that we edited the pitches on. So I'm going to come here. Then I can click this little button to get me back to the start of this selection and then press play. 
You cannot say you know how I feel That might sound good when you say it But you know it isn't true And now in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you the ubiquitous auto-tune share or T-pain effect.